Good morning guys, today we're going to be taking you on what is a very normal day of full-time van life. So we're going to be moving closer to where we want to be, we're going to be getting a lot of stuff done and we're going to be checking out some cool spots because usually a normal day of van life is a combo of all of that. Starting with the uh, van wiping the window in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> and hitting the camera. Yeah, it's uh, super cold and foggy recently because, you know, winter. So uh, a lot of the times the windows are very foggy in the morning. <laughs> That's how we clean. start our morning. <laughs> we have to wipe down the windows. Now, you may actually be surprised where we are right now. So last time you saw <laughs> us, we were in the Grampians and we planned on hanging around the Grampians a little bit longer, but the campsite that we went to was Yeah, the way to get bad. in was <laughs> not ideal. We would definitely have gotten like uh, stuck and bottomed out. So we ended up after Dunkel driving to Wannon Falls but you can only stay there one night. So somehow we ended up in Casterton, which makes us closer to the South Australia border. It's closer to Gambia probably yeah. than uh, Tarpino was. Yeah, literally, <laughs> than we've been this whole time. So we're pretty close <laughs> and back on ourselves, but we really enjoyed the town. We were driving in and there were all these kelpie things and we were like, what is going on here? And we ended up exploring the town and checking it out. And it's actually the birthplace of the kelpie breed. The whole town has like statues and it has a visitor center with loads of information on the Kelpies and it's just It was really nice there. We really enjoyed it. Everyone we came across was so nice and it was just really cool. Anyway, let's go Before we even explain where we are, we couldn't do anything without coffee. And breakfast. And breakfast. Hi. Hi babies. Good morning. Now that we are fed and coffeeed up and ready to go, I wanted to share that we are at Marino camping area. And we would have loved to have stayed here. This is actually the first place we came after Wannon Falls because this place is really cool. It has water, it has a power, it has toilets, it has bins. It really has everything you need at a campsite. We're topping up our water and we did a little top up of power. It's actually a free campground, but they take donations. Mm. And we wanted to stay here, but look, at the grass <laughs> it is complete sink into it. it is sludge let me take you over it <laughs> go this way over it, yeah <laughs> here it is i'm guessing this is what would happen if we stayed here it definitely would have taken quite a bit of effort to get out of this spot if we got stuck. Oh yeah, <laughs> we 100 percent would have been bogged the grass looks fine and then we got out and checked Ew. It's like quicksand. Yeah. And it's just complete sludge. Yeah, it's mud. All right, so the water is topped up and we're good to go to our next spot. We've come to the Von Gurad Lookout and Tower Hill is actually a dormant volcano. It was created 30,000 years ago when there was an eruption and then it has this really cool like hilly structure because the following eruptions from the initial big one caused all these hills. So it looks really cool. It was a super important place for the Aboriginal tribe that was living here. 
they used to use it as a main source of food because there was so much wildlife and so many trees and amazing stuff and then the early settlers came in and basically stripped the area bare they used cut all the trees down used that all for wood and building and then basically environmentalists and the government and a whole group of volunteers in the area were like we need to make this area beautiful again and they focused on revegetation and making it amazing and they actually based their revegetation and building this area back to what it was based on a painting that was done by Eugene von Gerard, which is what this lookout is named after, in the 1850s. And now it is an amazing spot with loads of wildlife and it's beautiful. So we knew that we had to come and have a look at this place because it gives us very much Mount Gambia vibes, especially with the countryside across the road. But what's unique about this is that there's actually an island in the middle that you can actually drive onto and do a hike. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm so excited. Even just the drive-in was it's so beautiful. stunning. I've already spotted emus over that way. And, and the there's koalas in the trees. Yeah, I've heard that there's koalas in the picnic area. So hopefully we can spot some. I... I'm so excited. I'm so hoping that we see an enchilada. That would be like, I really want to see an enchilada. That would be a dream come true. I don't think we will because it's so cold, but um, yeah. we'll see. I'm so excited. I'm currently trying not to freak out, but we've literally just left the car park. Our van is just here, and there's a mama koala climbing really low down on a tree with a baby on it right in front of us. It's so cute. Vian really wants to get a shot of one of those blue wrens, I believe they're called, but it keeps moving <laughs> further away from him. Every time he gets close, it moves away. <laughs> and every time he gets the camera out, it flies off. We'll get it. Eventually, you'll get a shot. <laughs> 
we've started, what's it called, the Lava Tongue Yeah, I think boardwalk. it's the Lava Tongue Walk. And we've come on this one because apparently it's where you see the most animals. Yeah, so we're going to have <laughs> sore necks because we keep going like looking for koalas, looking for the trees <laughs> and then like, oh, is there any enchiladas in the and bushes? And we really, really want to see an echidna, like that is our goal. Yeah. So we're currently looking through all the bushland being like, is there anything moving? Is there anything there? And like the worst thing is because it's like a boardwalk, it's like over the water yes. and there's like dried out, I don't know what to call it, like grass. Yeah. Um, so it's like, all you hear is like it moving rustling. and rustling against each other. And it's like, is that an enchilada? <laughs> and every time and it like, rustles, no. we're both like, <gasps> <laughs> so we're trying to be really quiet and walk slowly and look at everything. Vian's just coming back from getting a shot. There were two koalas in that tree. And immediately, there's another koala no in front of us. These are literally hundreds of koalas. I, I think we've seen already in what, 15 minutes, over 10. Thing probably yeah we're not even like it's five so minutes into many. this track and we've seen over 10 koalas I'm, I'm, I'm actually just amazed <laughs> it's amazing and blown away. it's so beautiful no echidnas yet and keep my eyes open but the koalas yeah, there's even so many birds and yeah oh my gosh and we even saw a kangaroo as well in yeah we water. saw a kangaroo i probably look like such a weirdo with this but i knew that they would all be high up and I would not be able to take a stable shot of any of the koalas <laughs> without this because like like even just looking up I'm like swaying around so it's so much nicer to just have it like this and uh, hold it like this <laughs> save my neck probably a weird thing to comment on but I've got to comment on the smell here it smells so strongly of eucalyptus it's actually a lovely smell right Fian? The smell yeah, is so it, it nice. It smells clean. Like we, we use eucalyptus pretty much for cleaning everything. Yeah. So it smells like we just heat. So it. clean and fresh and it's just the smell is amazing. I just love how like every, I would, yeah, probably call it an attraction. I feel like every attraction that we've been in since Mount Gambia has been such a little like oasis. Yes. Like a little private oasis. It's amazing. Yeah. Just like. Look how beautiful it's So it is. Like, it's like tropical and green and just beautiful. Wow. I just, anyway. I'm blown away. Like <laughs> I thought Australia was just desert. <laughs> <laughs> Shows that we've never like traveled our own country until yeah, now. Right? I'm sure I probably sound like a broken record, but this is truly amazing. And like, it's insane that this is a dormant, a dormant volcano as well. Like what? I think we forget about that, Lydia. What do you want? You have to lift. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to hitch a ride. Right? Gotta say, Tower Hill was amazing. It was. I, <laughs> I don't want to compare it, but uh, there was so many koalas, so much, so much more than Morielta, and yeah. even that surprised us so much. Oh man, I'm so excited! <laughs> I just saw we are koala. like freaking out right now. Like, I think on that walk we did, it was literally a kilometer and yeah. twenty minutes. We saw at least ten. Plus, 
There were so was, many. There must be hundreds in that that little con- is it yeah. a conservation area or yeah, it's insane, absolutely so insane. Many. So if you want to see a koala and you haven't seen a koala and you're in the area, <laughs> go there. They have so many different animals. I feel like it'd be really cool to come at dawn, dawn or, or dusk. dusk. Yeah, because obviously that's when majority of Australian animals are active. Yeah, but even the amount of koalas we saw and the emus and yeah. it was just really cool. Now we're in Wanambu. Yes, I'm hoping saying that right. <laughs> but before we go do all our boring chores stuff and shopping and laundry and all sorts, we've <laughs> pulled over at stingray bay i think mm. it's called yeah and so. we're not really doing anything here but we wanted to check this place out because we saw it online mm. we're parked up right in front of middle island and middle island is so cute the story behind it so middle island basically was home to little penguins little penguins yeah and it had this huge colony of little penguins and they were pretty much all wiped out by foxes and it, i think they got down to less than 10. yeah and the colony the, and everyone was like what, what do we do and i think yeah. a, a chicken farmer i think it was a chicken i farm. think it was a it chicken was a farmer. farmer let's not even say chicken <laughs> just in case a, a farmer. farmer suggested that they use a sheep dog uh, marama yes marama. Uh, where, where are they from i'm not sure but they're big Beautiful, so beautiful, such beautiful dogs. And they got a couple of them on the island. And yeah, and they use them on farms to protect. If it was chickens, I think they use them to protect the chickens. Mm. And like they're so good at that protective role. They enjoy it. Like, they enjoy they, it. They, they actually get um, what, what's it called? They get sad when when they're not like on the island yeah. and like protecting the penguins. It's so sweet. Yeah, what? we didn't even say they're here to protect the penguins. So the farmer oh. was like, <laughs> the farmer was like, you should use these dogs. So they started this initiative where they have dogs on the island. I think mm. there's. I can't remember how many dogs, but maybe there's like three dogs yeah, on the island. No more than five. And they live on the island and they protect the penguins. I think there's actually a movie on Oddball. On Oddball. It's yeah. called Oddball. There's um, a movie based that. on it. Maybe we should watch it. We really should. <laughs> but we had to drop by this place because we thought that was so sweet. And now, actually, I think it was in 2005, there were less than 10. Mm. And now there's over 100 penguins living there. Which is insane because it's not that big. It's really small. No, it's not really that... small. <laughs> like these two islands, one is Mary. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Mari or Mary, it's named the same as the river that goes through the town. Yeah, my and then, then this middle island, and it's it's quite small. Yeah, it's really small. So I was hoping we'd see a doggy. <laughs> I was trying to keep my eye out for. I a think doggy. they do shift work there. I don't think they're always on the yeah. island. Yeah, the volunteers who run the program actually have like informational sessions where they'll talk you through it, and you can meet one of some of the dogs or one of the dogs. What? And I really wanted to do that, and they oh. had no availability. They yeah. weren't running, I think, I, I think, think they're they were, seasonal. Yeah, seasonal, yeah. So they weren't actually running when we're here, but if you're here during that time, maybe do that. I would 100% that's so do special. that. Those doggies look so cute. They're beautiful. I'm not sure what I'm more excited about, the penguins or the doggies, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. So they're really sweet. We just wanted to check it out before we headed back into the yeah, town. Just in case we get lucky and see a dog or a penguin off in the distance. <laughs> but yeah. Cool. So we'll go. Mm. We're going to enjoy this a little bit and then we're going to head back in and do grocery shopping and laundry and all the fun stuff. the boring stuff is done, done our shopping, we've done our laundry, one more cool spot, a fun spot, and then we head to our campsite. We've just rocked up to Hopkins Falls, which is on route to our campsite tonight. But it's really loud and really big. I didn't expect that much. We're only coming here because it's on the way, but it already looks pretty cool. Look at the cows on the hill. Do you think they're like, what the heck is that down there? I bet it's utterly impressed. 
Oh, once again, I apologize for Vian's terrible humor. I know we've seen a lot of waterfalls in the last <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one right. couple of weeks, more than ever, but I'm still so impressed by each of them. I think they're each so unique, and this one is just so wide. I feel like the flow rate of them are, as well, are it's just insane. Yeah, it's, it's just massive, and even the amount of foam, because of how violent the water is, it's wild. And and There's also a house yeah. off in the distance overlooking say, the um, the whole waterfall. waterfall. And like, the countryside as well. It's insane. It's got like, to be the most beautiful like house. We're literally like 10 minutes out of the town or city. Yeah. And it's like countryside, sheep, cows everywhere. Like what? <laughs> what a life, huh? Beautiful. All right, let's go. Vian is currently uh, checking out the grass, <laughs> making sure we won't get bogged. Pretty decent, but I think we're going to go on an angle just in case, because it's quite uphill. Mm. And then we're not fighting against gravity. So we'll go on an angle, but it looks alright. Yeah. There's also um, cows over there, which I'm very excited about. I want to go say hi. We went to say hi, but they were spooked and ran away. They're smart babies. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. <laughs> that one keeps just staring at you. Aww. <laughs> Vian's making friends. The, the lake and uh, the van and uh, He made friends, friends with the campus dogs. <laughs> Your baby. Oh my gosh, look at you. You're beautiful. I think we're in a pretty beautiful spot. Same. Same. It's honestly exceeded my expectations. Yeah, same. This is actually like a backup <laughs> spot that we just found on Google Maps and it's beautiful. It's really nice. I'm sad the Moomoo's didn't want to pat, but... Yeah, it's very <laughs> sad. <laughs> but we've made the bed, mm. put the laundry away, put the shopping away. We've been so productive, but also had such a special day. Sun setting. Yeah, it looks like I, you can probably right see. In my eyes. You can probably see my face <laughs> is all lit up now. <laughs> Sun is setting. Uh, we are starving, so we're gonna have. Don't judge us. It's been a long day, okay? Dinner. Like it's. <laughs> don't judge us. <laughs> we literally just got frozen waffle fries, and we're gonna have them. <laughs> we also got stuff to make s'mores dip. Yeah, which I've never heard of. I saw before. online and I wanted to do it for ages and I told Vian, he's like, what do you mean a dip? Like, you mean I've just like s'mores? And I was like, no, a before. s'mores dip. The, to me, that's like, <laughs> it's not s'mores. So we're going to make those also. It's like de <laughs> deconstructed s'mores, that's what it is. Deconstructed s'mores. That's actually a pretty good way of putting it. Yeah. So we're going to have waffle <laughs> fries and have s'mores and then call it a night. But um, let's see if these s'mores actually end up okay. The waffle fries will be fine, because yeah. they're just fries. But let's see. Have a look at that. What a view. Really beautiful. And there's the sun right there. <laughs> and here's the moomoos in our back windows. All the way over there. So beautiful here. We also didn't acknowledge that we got into cozy clothes. I feel like it's the first thing that you do. Yeah, always. Like when you rock up to campsite, you're like, cool. Immediately, Off of we're jeans, like, pajamas, pajamas done. Pajamas, done. It's the oven. And yes, I did wash my hands before I did this. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I did. Cool. Oh, you on? Okay, waffle fries are in? Yes. So basically, it's chocolate and marshmallows that you cook in like an oven or an air fryer. <laughs> and then you dip biscuits in it. So like the aunt said, it's a deconstructed I feel like it's a deconstructed s'more. s'more. I don't feel like you can say that this is a... But I feel like I've been craving s'mores ever since we stayed at uh, Anya. Yes, with and the your campground. bonfire pits. Yeah. Yes, with all the fire pits. And I was like, oh, we should have s'mores. And you were like, we don't even have marshmallows. <laughs> Looks like this. Okay. And then I'm going to put marshmallows it. on it. Are you ready to see? I can't really tell it because I don't want them to fall. But this is what it looks like. 
And then once we've had our waffle fries, we'll put them in the oven and then we can dip biscuits in them. I'm excited. I feel like I'm absolutely mutilating these waffle fries. <laughs> You're squishing them. Because Lydia really likes her fries soft and like, what do you what, use the word? What do you word? Soggy. Do? Soggy. Um, so I, I try to cook it like that, and then I have majority the crunch. Um, so they're slightly undercooked, but they're warm. I like a mix of but then soggy when they're, and crispy. When they're soggy, but not they break crunch. up when you pick them up. So. Uh, <laughs> Yum. What a dinner. <laughs> what a dinner. Not sure if I'll be able to really capture this, but the cows are like going up the hill. In a line. In a line. How beautiful are they? Shove it in. It's gonna taste like waffle fries now. I'm gonna put it on bake actually. Okay. Cool. So, should we put Let's some eat. sauce? Probably should have put more because look, there's still some gaps. Yeah. But uh, we'll see if that tastes yum. We'll leave. That At least we went for eat. next time. What time is it? S'mores time. Do, 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 oh, do. They oh. move when you. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we're gonna try it, and then we're gonna hop in bed and eat them. Oh my god. Here's our biscuits. You. They're just plain biscuits. Should I just dip it? Go for it. <gasps> look at the way they just melt. Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, they look amazing! Should I try it? Is it yeah, hot? Yeah, probably. Mmm! That looks pretty nice. I'm gonna try some. You know what's really nice? What? The crunchy top on top of the marshmallow. Oh yeah. Look at that. I want a little bit of chocolate. I feel like you got all my chocolate. Stripping on my hands, but look at this. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yum. Hey, I think if you don't have a campfire, that's a pretty good alternative to making s'mores, right? I might put it out there. I think it's better. Really? It's more consistent. What do you mean? Because the only benefit is over. Would be you can to squish it in a sandwich. Yeah, mm. but I'm sure you can do that in the oven this as well. This is yum. Do this, guys. Yeah. Oh, another one. Are we gonna get in bed and eat it? Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that now. So. Uh, but uh, thanks for joining us on a normal day of full-time bed life. We're gonna go eat in bed. What an amazing normal day. <laughs> so many it's koalas. Baby koalas. S'mores. Right. It's a good mix. Fries. It's like a normal day for us. Like we all drive somewhere, hmm. try stop off at cool places along the way that maybe aren't like main spot tourist destinations but yeah. still beautiful spots and then we still have to get stuff done. And we get a little soppy but we live a great life. We too. And like you know even like little things like the campsite here I feel like that is the type of like if we were doing it on a weekend mm. while we were working our nine till five and we drove here we would mm. be so excited. Yeah. And like we rock up here and we're like, whoa, look how amazing it That's is. That's not how I do feel. I know, but like we do that every day. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's pretty special. good. Let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs>